So it's no secret that Starbucks has some of the best cold foam. So today we're making two versions and one of them is dairy free. Hey guys, I'm Myra from Low Carb Love and today we're making a chocolate cream cold brew and we're making it two ways. So we're gonna start off with the regular version. So here we have just some organic heavy cream because of course the team is gonna drink this one. So here we have some sweetener. This is just an erythritol stevia blend. And we also have our vanilla extract. So we're gonna mix this in first and then we will add in our chocolate. So I got this little guy here. I'm kind of scared because it's super powerful. Oh my gosh, okay, wait. Okay, okay, I was able to lower it a little. Okay. So this is actually really cool. I just opened it. As you can tell, it's super, super powerful. Um, I got it because I wanna make like a homemade mayo and just make different recipes that I feel like this would be super easy. Um, if you guys are, you know, looking for something like this, I'll leave this one linked down below. But so far, so good, I like it. If you don't have a hand mixer, you can use a frother, you can use even like a hand whisk. It's just gonna, you know, you're gonna have to put in some arm work, but, um, yeah, you definitely don't need something like this. It just makes your life easier, that's all. So this is the consistency we're looking for. You are not trying to make like a whipped cream. It should just be kind of light, airy, fluffy, okay? And now what we're gonna do is add in our unsweetened cocoa powder and give it another mix. I just waited to add the cocoa powder because sometimes the cocoa powder can flatten everything out. So I just wanted to make sure that it was nice and fluffy before we did that. So this is what your chocolate cream cold foam is gonna look like, okay? I might have um, whipped it a little, just, I gave it a little more air, no problem, because it will flatten, flatten out a little. So we're gonna go ahead and set this aside, and now we're gonna move on to the dairy-free version, which I'm super, super excited about because I'm gonna get to taste it. So we have the coconut cream. This is literally just a, a can of coconut cream. So let's go ahead and add that, and we are gonna toss in our sweetener and our vanilla. So we have a nice thick cream, and now we're gonna go ahead and add in our unsweetened cocoa powder. We're giving it one more mix, and then we're ready to make our drink. Okay, okay so this is the consistency of our dairy-free version. I am so happy. Guys, you do not understand how excited I am right now. All right, guys, so the time has come for us to assemble our drinks. Okay, so we're adding in our ice. Now we have some cold brew. So you already know cold brew is super strong. Now to sweeten our drink, Starbucks usually adds a vanilla syrup. So I have my vanilla syrup, but it's sugar-free. Just made it. Mm, so excited about this. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. Make it nice and sweet. So now let's go ahead and top our drink with our chocolate cream cold foam. So here is our regular version. Now it's up to you. I don't know if you guys like to shake it, stir it, or maybe just kind of sip on it just as is. We're gonna leave it for now, but I think once I make my dairy free version, then we'll shake them both and see how it turns out, okay? So let's go ahead and set this little guy aside and move on to our dairy free. I hope it turns out guys, I hope it turns out. Let's go. I know the cream tastes delicious, so let's add in our ice. Add in our cafecito. This is just some cold brew. It's a medium roast. So let's go ahead and add in our dairy-free chocolate cream cold foam. Ooh. All right. Okay, so we have our regular version, our dairy-free version. Now we're gonna go ahead and shake. So this, we got some Starbucks cups this morning when we went to go pick up the original, which I'm gonna show you right now. We're gonna do a comparison, of course, and we are going to just do a little shake. Okay, guys, hello. So this is the regular Starbucks dupe with, of course, um, without all the sugar and carbs. And now, I'm scared. 
<laughs> Let's go ahead and shake up our dairy free. So this is giving me like chocolate mocha vibes right now. But here we have our dairy free version of the cold cream cold foam. This is our regular version. And then this is the Starbucks cup that we picked up that we ordered this morning. I have to taste this already. This tastes like a chocolate mocha. Perfect. The coconut, because I, I, you can taste the coconut, but it's like subtle. It's oh Guys, this is delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay, so which one are you gonna make? Are you making the regular version or the dairy-free? Comment down below. I wanna know how many of you guys are dairy-free because I do wanna start making a lot more like dairy-free um, recipes, but I don't know how many of you are interested in dairy-free. So comment down below. Do you wanna see more dairy-free? If not, it's good because the whole team eats um, all the food that I make that is not dairy free. And I sometimes still make my own little um, side version of whatever it is. Like if we wouldn't have been filming this dairy free, I would have just made mine on the side. But I figured like some of you might be dairy free and wanna see it, so I decided I would share it. But overall, this is the Starbucks dupe to the chocolate cream cold brew, which is right here. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the recipe in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to share this recipe along with the channel with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or that you know would just absolutely love a healthier version to the Starbucks drinks. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah. Now I'm gonna go and enjoy my chocolate cream cold foam.